Hey crew, Mr. Ellis here. A uh, quick nine weeks coronavirus update. So first thing I wanna start off with is, is a big thank you from the faculty and staff here at Rainbow Colors. You guys have done an amazing job of um, keeping yourselves safe, and more importantly, being willing participants in this. If we're gonna have kids at the school, we have to make sure that we're being safe. And it doesn't matter what I ask, you guys make sure that you do it, if especially if it comes down to keeping people safe. And that's all we want from you. And uh, we truly want to commend you on that. And of course, our wonderful custodial staff here is doing an amazing job uh, making sure everything is staying clean. But um, I just want to stress, there's a couple reasons that this is such a big deal. Number one, remember, we're about to go into flu season. All right? I know myself, I'll be going to get my flu shot over there from Publix um, probably this afternoon. And I'll get $10 free to spend in Publix. So I can get myself some sushi, maybe a Diet Coke. I don't know, it'll be a nice afternoon. But um, the reason that flu shot's gonna be so helpful is because when I do get it, right, it'll help protect me from getting the flu because we're about to go into flu season. So the issue with that is, right, we have the coronavirus going on and then we can have the influenza virus going around. And uh, if you happen to catch both, that's where you've got what's called a comorbidity. That means you have two illnesses kind of going on in your body at the same time. And that makes it harder for your body to fight off either infection. So we want to minimize that as much as possible. So not only uh, would the vaccine, at least for me, be helpful, all right? And uh, what I'd also say is good common health practices are very important. So one of the things we're doing here is making sure we're cleaning up properly and being safe. And um, I want to talk about that for a second if I can. I'll bring you over here. So here you see like my cleaning supplies. I keep them in a central location, right? And students are supposed to wipe down their desk after we spray it. So they wipe it down. They wipe down the back of their chair, anywhere they might've touched. And all those things are wonderful. The problem comes in when students decide to pick this up, right? Themselves and start spraying things. Because when they do that and then they hand it to somebody else, you're creating a vector, a transmission vector, passing it from one person to the next. It's important if you touch these cleaning supplies to know that other people have touched them. Okay, and to use your hand sanitizer. If you decide to get um, any like, you know, supplies, like we all teachers have supplies everywhere and um, sometimes you're allowed to use them and most times I would not. I would say ask your teacher first before touching anything communal where more than one person is using it, okay? Now, if we're looking here, a couple things I wanted to say about this. One of the reasons you have to be very careful is because if you look over here at our little CDC guide um, to infections around the US, um, it's not going great. There's a lot of red on here, okay? Very little white. Um, and so um, things are um, picking up pace here as we head into flu season. And one of the reasons things are picking up pace is because during flu season, everybody crowds together. And when everyone crowds together, indoors to be warm, because again, flu season is when it's colder. So we all get together, it's easier to communicate those diseases. And remember, inside is an issue. That's why you have to wear that mask. In fact, if I may, here it is. Cannot stress to you enough. This, good. This, still not good. Remember, your nose still has access to your lungs. Just like your mouth does. It's the same hole. It goes into the same place. It's your lungs. They, I don't know what to tell you. Wear it over your nose, okay? And if you're running out of breath, doing this, and pulling it off your face and go, just again, expelling stuff from your lungs everywhere. So if you need to catch your breath, take long, deep breaths through your nose. That's actually how you're supposed to calm yourself and catch your breath. Like as an athlete, that's what they tell you. Put your hands over your head, right? Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. So go. That's what you want to do to catch your breath. Hyperventilating actually increases the CO2 in your body. That's not what you want, okay? That's what causes issues, okay? So take a deep breath through your nose to catch your breath and then let it out, okay? Multiple deep breaths. Now, um, again, I wanna stress this, being safe, smart practices. For those coming into the school, make sure you follow like how we get around the building and such, but I also wanna stress, one other vector I notice is, kids will oftentimes crowd up here around the door before we leave, because we're all trying to get out. We know we got a limited amount of time to get there, maybe we wanna use the restroom. If you're crowding right here, that's another vector. We wanna keep, with our masks on, at least three feet of space, six feet if possible, okay? And the last thing I would say to keep in mind is the fact that uh, I noticed before school and after school, groups of kids gathering together, maybe with a mask, maybe not, in their cars together. Cannot stress you enough how unwise that decision is, okay? And even when I see people um, with their friends, like I'll, I'll see some, uh, some submissions from students on, on my assignments where they're working with a partner, and that's all wonderful. But remember, when you're working with people from different households, 
That's how diseases spread because they're from a different household. So again, just smart things. Wearing masks when you're around people who aren't from your house just to keep everybody safe. These are smart things to do. And um, what we want to keep track of, of course, are what we call our symptoms. So if you notice you're coming down with symptoms, you have to let people know and you have to stay home. Okay, because you don't want to risk getting anybody else here sick. We have too many amazing students to risk losing anybody just because you felt like you could tough it out for the day. Okay, so please, any runny noses, coughs, sinus headaches, you know what I mean? All those kinds of issues, sneezes. Uh, I know that it may seem like allergies, but it's always smarter to stay at home and keep people safe. Okay, that's what we want from all of you is to keep everybody else safe. That's your number one goal. Okay, so please remember all these things that I've talked about. And um, let's make the second nine weeks an excellent one. And just remember, we're moving into flu season. It's going to be more difficult for everybody. And so we have to work harder to stay safe. Don't group up in the classroom, okay? Um, make sure you clean up after yourself. Wash your hands after you're touching things other people have touched, okay? These are all smart practices. Stay home if you feel like you're sick, okay? There's a reason we have everything up here set for virtual is to keep you safe and to keep others safe, all right? Love to all of you. Take care. Have a great nine weeks. And uh, yeah, rise Phoenix. There you go.